today we will discuss a lot of scenarios actually when we need to integrate uh, Dynamics 365 or Dynamics CRM with uh, Genesis specifically Dynamics CRM with Genesis or Cisco for the CTI or call to take the call functionality okay IVR functionality in that scenario how we can leverage that actually how we can integrate so normally in dynamics 365 it has exposed one channel integration framework if you see uh, if you see this document it has mentioned dynamics 365 channel integration framework it has a guide you can refer this guide also let's say if you think what exactly framework 1.0 and 2.0 because there are two things framework integration framework 1.0 and 2.0 so if you read this statement it has a comparison so if you see uh, specifically what is the difference between these two you can see you can use framework 1.0 to integrate provider of the if the organization is using any of the single session dynamics 365 model driven apps you concentrate on this statement single session dynamics 365 model driven apps then you can consider a version for 1.0 but if your organization is using multi session app such as omni channel and this they can consider the 2.0 okay integration framework version 2.0 so this is how the basic difference between uh, framework version 1.0 and 2.0 okay even though you can integrate channels using telephony sms and chat channels with any of the single session apps to have a immersive experience so this is how the basic difference between framework 1.0 and 2.0 so how we will integrate actually how we will use this channel integration framework and once once we uh, create our environment you can go to the app section you can see one channel integration framework app if you click this app so it is loading actually channel integration framework ui okay it is load, loading the uh, framework ui so as per this integration framework it is asking the channel providers information need to be entered and if i click on new so it is asking certain informations right so let's say this is what is the name what is label what is channel url how it will behave channel order and all these things it is asking so this is how you have to fill all the details where you will get all the details and if you go here let's just i open for the genesis for example for example here genesis for uh, um, channel integration framework what it is mentioned it has clearly mentioned it has given the documentation in this documentation uh, you can see the steps actually okay so this is one of the things okay we are concerned about this you can see this parameters it's mentioned name we have to enter a specific name but let's say you have any organization once we have uh, let's say you have any organization in your organization there is some name or unique name something uh, when genesis team will provide so then you can enter uh, the name here let's say this is demo the label any specific label uh, you can you can see label adapter for dynamics whatever it may be so it will provide the name okay name you have to enter the name whatever name they will provide then whatever the label they will provide you have to enter here then channel url they have a specific url you have to enter the url it's not it's not exactly it's a standard uh, it's defined here but you will get a specific url from the genesis team okay you need to enter the url here the specific url then uh, okay it's a it's asking it's not invalid url because it's standard there are some parameters are there so you have to enter the url here then enable outbound communication so it's as per your requirement you can outbound inbound or outbound uh, so if let's say you want to enable outbound yes you can make it yes uh, outbound as well so channel order uh, that you have to specify here it is mentioned channel order one so you define here channel order one you pass the channel order api version whatever the version it is asking let's say it's a 2.0 it's 1.0 version currently so 2.0 also similarly you can create a you can use cif 2.0 as well and enable analytics yes or no you define whatever it may be this is not required trusted domain if you have any any custom parameters if you want you can pass here 
then which app actually you can use you can see all the dynamics 365 apps it is showing and this is applicable on which app let's say in specific app you are using customer service you created your custom app let's say my app name is training demo so in training demo you can select your training demo new app then you use that app to use this channel integration framework let's say whenever it will load it will show the uh, framework iframe at the side here okay so that you can get the call functionality all the uh, icons okay on the toolbar for the cti so this is how you will select the app then after that any specific role means uh, you want to define what are the roles will get this feature so you can define those roles also okay so all these things once you filled up then you save and now you are good to connect it your channel integration framework to communicate with the uh, specific uh, CTI uh, application with Dynamics 365 and let me show you actually here this is for Cisco let's say you are using Cisco Cisco also similarly you can see channel order one then what is the url name label so all the same template actually you can see so those informations you have to pass here channel integration framework so so it will communicate cisco or genesis it will communicate to the applications so hope this is helpful thank you